everybody we are back from our little target run and we did pick up four of the 2022 series one um i guess value packs uh so these actually have a little bit better odds go ahead and take a look at the odds um than blasters um and uh, actual hobby boxes and i do have my wanders up there for my collection and we're in my uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays old school hat to hopefully bring us some luck. Hopefully we hit something cool. Um, I love 2022 Series 1. Uh, you know, just as the product, I think it looks great. I know there's not a lot of, you know, crazy good rookies in it besides Wander. But you never know. You know, one of these guys could definitely come out swinging um, and really surprise everybody so you know you never know so you get 36 cards per pack it says special packs or special inserts may you know contain less look for exclusive royal blue base card parallels all right so starting off we got mauricio dubon and i am so excited because i know i'm late on the news but i'm so excited that we are going to have a full season let me know who your team is now so no one changes up when the postseason comes. Um, I know I'm wearing a Tampa Bay Devil Rays hat because I absolutely love the design, uh, but I'm a Cubs fan 100%. Um, but I do like I do like wearing throwback, you know, like throwback uh, hats and stuff from different teams, the logos that I really like. All right, we got a Matt Manning rookie. He's a... He, he seems like he could be a very, very good pitcher in a few years. Eddie Rosario. We have Anthony DeSclafani. And our first insert is going to be Stars of the MLB. Key Brian Hayes tops Chrome. This is an awesome card in the Chrome. I think it looks great. Anything in Chrome is fantastic. We have a Juan Soto, 1987. So that's really cool. That'll go into my Juan Soto PC. And then we have a... Byron Buxton stars in the MLB. Javier Baez, who is now on the Detroit Tigers. And the biggest news today, Clint Frazier. Let's see. 5043. I just want to make sure this kind of looks like a, a different design. So we look on the back. So, nope, it is just part of the base set. That is still a cool card. Got Jackson Reitz. Um, the big news, you know, this week was uh, Matt Olson going to the Atlanta Braves pretty much. I mean, it seems like it's marking the end of the Freddie Freeman era, which is interesting um, because as of the time this video is being made, there is no you know movement on Freddie Freeman yet. Future stars, Shane McClanahan, and then John Gray from the Rockies. But speaking of the Rockies, the big free agency news today is that Chris Bryant has been acquired by the Rockies, which I don't think anyone really saw coming. That was like straight out of left field, no pun intended, because this is, we are talking baseball. But uh, that was pretty wild. That's not something that I saw coming at all. Chris Bryant, you know, being one of my favorite Cubs players, helping uh, bring the World Series to Chicago. You know, I... Still follow, um, you know, those original core players. It's a nice Atlanta Braves team card. We're going to be, uh, I don't want to block the other camera with my arm. We're going to be into the landscape cards. It's just kind of how the set goes. Um, all the landscape cards are kind of in a row. So once you hit a run of them, they usually go for quite a little bit. We got Christian Javier, second year card. Javier had a really nice season. Got the St. Louis Cardinals, Houston Astros, San Diego Padres, and then also the other big news, we got Tampa Bay Rays. So incoming Wander, nope. We have the Wins Leaders in the blue. That's a nice nice little parallel there. But the uh, also the big news is uh, Wander Fran not Wander Franco, Fernando Tatis being out for the next three months with a wrist injury apparently suffered um, while uh, I guess on a motorcycle, so. You know, sucks when you got Welcome to the Show Ichiro. That's a cool card. Set that to the side. Jose Ramirez. 
Chris Bryant, you know, it sucks seeing anyone get injured. Corbin Burns, boom, we got Wander Franco. So another Wander Franco rookie to add to my PC. I'm going to sleeve and top load him really quick. But you know, it sucks, you know, seeing anyone get injured. You know, you really hate to see injuries to any player's career, but uh, you know, especially young players, like young superstars with so much potential. And you know, these, they get injured real early on and you know some of them are never quite the same so it's just, um man it's rough seeing you know guys like tatis and acuna you know suffer these devastating injuries so boom first wander franco we will take it i'll go through the rest of these pretty quick christian yelich we got jackson coar shane bieber kyle seager but yeah i am just so happy to have baseball back but there, you know, there's a couple, couple weird rule changes that I'm sure, you know, everyone feels strongly about. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the rule changes. And if you're not aware, so basically there's been a, there's a pitch clock being implemented. I am just opening these terrible. I, I really apologize, guys. This is bad. This is really bad. But there's a pitch clock being implemented. So if the pitcher does not, you know, Get rid of the ball within a certain amount of time a ball is awarded to the batter so i don't know how i feel about that and then also the defensive shift being banned which you know the great hitters and the good hitters had absolutely no problem hitting against the shift um so i i feel like banning the shift is kind of like taking away the double team in basketball you know the great players who get double teamed they find a way got a Trey Ambergy, but you know, it's just how it is. We got nice Tim Anderson, Alex Reyes, Kenner Falefa, Jonah Heim. Can we hit something numbered? Okay, welcome to the show. We got the big hurt, Frank Thomas. It's gonna be our insert. We got Jazz, Freddie Freeman, Shane Bieber, Kyle Seeger. Okay, I'll put these, set these to the side. We'll go through the rest of these pretty quickly. These are upside down. Future stars, Andrew Vaughn. I think Andrew Vaughn has a lot of potential. So hopefully we'll see him in a more, hopefully more prominent role. There's the show, last year's MVP. So overall, um, not hitting anything too, too crazy. You know, I would like to see a numbered card. In this last pack, hopefully we can hit some last pack magic. There's Juan Soto on the back. That's never a bad sign. If we can get some, some Sapphire magic there, all right. So we got Brian Anderson, Future Stars, Alec Manoa, Travis Shaw. I'm trying to peek. We got a nice Wade Miley. Here we go, we're getting into the run of Another landscape run. That is still one of the coolest shots from 2022. It's the Tony Kemp. Future stars Jared Kelnick. Hopefully he can pick up where he left off. Um, last year he really started to just absolutely crush. You know, his batting average was, you know, low, but batting average doesn't always tell the full story. He really, really started to turn it up. We got Alex Wells. Corey Kluber. Oh man. So here is a rainbow foil Emmanuel Rivera rookie. So that is nice. It's nice to get a rookie in, in the rainbow foil. Then we have a Fernando Tatis generation now. And then stars the MLB Pete Alonso, Juan Soto. The Gavin Sheets rookie card. Nice Mike Trout. Hopefully we can see Mike Trout returned to Mike Trout form. There's a Tampa Bay Ray down there. Marcus Stroman. Here's a Lars. Here's G-Man Choi, which he was a, uh, you know, he was pretty much out most of the year last year. So, you know, Rays look like they could use a first baseman. Imagine if the Rays picked up Freddie Freeman. That would be crazy. All right, and then here's the Juan Soto. Okay, so nothing crazy. We did get quite a bit of base. Um, we got the generation now. Fernando Tatis. 
this nice Emmanuel, excuse me, Rivera rainbow foil. Too bad it wasn't Wander. Um, and we did hit another Wander rookie card right here. So definitely not complaining. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. If you enjoyed this review, let me know if you'll be picking up some of these value packs yourself. Until next time, we'll see you later.